Hello there, time for the third episode of my Cream Blush Product Pile series. This is my favourite category of makeup to play with, so I've done my fair share of testing different formulas and shades over the years. I'll leave the first two videos on Cream Blush Sticks and Cream Blush Pots linked down below. This time, let's take a look at liquid blushes, something many people use as a way into the cream colour world because they're easy and fun to apply, often very lightweight and sheer so they're simple to blend, and just make your cheeks look naturally flushed. Starting off with liquid blush tubes, the most common format. The Becca Beach Tints from Australia aim to create a your skin but better flush. They're subtle and sheer which makes them super easy to work with and they can also be dabbed onto lips to create a stain. I have the shade Watermelon, a popular punchy pink I discovered through a makeup artist on Instagram who used it on cheeks and eyes and it looked amazing. Then Fig, a dusty brown with a hint of rose, perfect for summer to look like you've caught a bit of sun. I find this formula almost matte because it doesn't have a particularly glowy finish. The base by Lara Bingle is another Aussie option, founded by one of our models slash personalities who now has a tanning and cosmetics brand. Her lip to cheek tints could be inspired by the Becca Beach tints, but the formula is quite different. It's called semi-fluid, but borders on being a bit watery for me. These are the shades 70 Red, a really tomato orange, 60 Pink, a bold fuchsia, and 90 Burgundy, a deep purple berry. There are some nice images on her website on how to use these for a colour blocking lip and cheek look. Ah, Glossier Cloud Paints, the second Glossier review I ever filmed in the early days of my channel last year. These cheeky little tubes inspired by New York sunsets are much loved for their super creamy but lightweight texture. Puff is a baby spice pink, Beam is a healthy peachy orange, Dusk is a brownie nude, my favourite, and Haze is a deep berry. Two new shades, Storm and Dawn, launched in June 2018 when I was in New York, so I grabbed them straight away at the showroom and will be reviewing them in future. A little bit goes a long way, so apply a tiny dot to your fingertips, rub them together and pat your pointer, middle and ring fingers down your cheekbones so you don't overdo it. Moving on to some sticks you might have seen before on my channel, the Chanel Rouge Coco Lip Blush is my favourite launch of 2018. It might look like a lip gloss, but it's a unique cream blush and liquid lip stain in one. 414 Tender Rose is a surprise favourite for me. It was also worn by Margot Robbie and Saoirse Ronan at the Oscars. 410 Corel Naturel is a touch more orange but still very fair. 412 Orange Explosif is a proper bold orange explosion. 418 Rouge Captivant is a classic blue toned raspberry and 420 Burning Berry is a perfect vampy plum. I've never tried anything like these. They're crazy smooth and sheer and blend seamlessly, almost like a mousse cream hybrid. The doe foot applicator is gently curved to fit the real curves of your lips and cheekbones. They look great blended out or super sheer like a watercolour stain. A few miscellaneous liquid blushes now. This one is an unexpected favourite mentioned by my favourite Australian style blogger Harper and Harley. The Elizabeth Arden Cool Glow Cheek Tint in Nectar creates such a lovely healthy glow because the formula has a slight shimmer to it. Press your fingers into the mesh or pick up the excess and tap it along your cheekbones for a natural summery peach luminous look. The Bourjois 12 Hour Aqua Blush is a great drugstore option with a seriously sheer gel like formula. It's another that's almost like a watercolour so you can't overdo it. Sadly I haven't seen these on counters for a while but I did pick up their brand new liquid launch the Bourjois Healthy Mix Sorbet Blush recently and really like those as well so you'll see them in future. Finally, a slightly nondescript tube that's actually very special because this is a customised cream blush from Hop and Cotton. The brand's Aussie creator E Ting and I bonded when she reached out after watching my Glossier Cloud Paint video last year and months later she surprised me by formulating this. She knows I love mauvey berry tones and this one certainly hits the spot so I hope some cream blushes might be added to her range soon. Please share your favourite liquid blush formulas down below. The comment sections on this series have been full of great brand and shade suggestions so far. I'll catch you for the final instalment next weekend. Thanks Thanks for watching, see you next time.